Good morning. Let me just see. Should all work? Lovely. I hope you had an absolutely amazing weekend. I'm not too sure. The weather here in Durban was amazing. My husband was complaining, of course. It was too hot for him. I absolutely enjoyed that. So let me just see. Okay, again, it looks here a little bit different on my side but doesn't matter, looks like everything is working. Just if you can hear and see me, just let me know. I need some thumbs up or some, uh, um, let me know where you are from. Maybe that would be lovely. Okay. Um, hmm, how does it look here now? Um, yeah, I have no idea. Okay, let's, I'm just going on. I hope it is working. Um, it's definitely live on the right page. That is good. Um, it's unusual that I don't have anybody in there. Let me just have a look here on my Facebook page. If there is a problem or if I can see that funding connection is doing there something. Okay, let me see. <coughs> if you go to your own page, you have, I don't know, information about over information. Yeah, okay. So, looks like there is something happening. Lovely. Yes, I can. Ah, and here I can see 14 people are in. Lovely. Okay, so good morning, everybody. Nice to see you, Tiboho. Okay, you can hear and see me. I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Let me just know where where um where are you from so so that I can see um see that that would be absolutely lovely. Let me see, are there some other people? That's the only comment I can see here from Tiboho at the moment. Like I said, they changed the setting here again. This is definitely annoying. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's start. What are we doing today? Okay, I want to talk. Um, one of you asked me, uh, I think it was last week, and said one of the challenges is how to secure offtake agreements. And uh, Faith from Pine Town, good morning. Lovely. Hazy view, T Man. Nice. Okay. Thanks very much for letting me know. Okay. So how to secure offtake agreements. Um, the I can't remember the name. Okay. So they emailed us even, but I also saw that in our Facebook um, feeds that uh, somebody said, hey, can't you share and uh, a little bit about that. Okay. Let's start with the first thing. What is an offtake agreement? Okay. So, um, Okay. Muhammad yo 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 yo. <laughs> you are challenging me. <laughs> okay, from Soweto, Luvuya from Durban, Gadi from Pretoria is in here. Lovely. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, so let's do what is an offtake agreement. There are letter of intents. Okay, there are offtake agreements and there are um orders yeah so now what you want letter of intent doesn't mean anything okay so that means funding connection writes a letter to somebody who wants to manufacture i don't know toilet paper and we will just say we will support this this company um after when they yes we will we uh, we endorse them and we will support them that's it Usually, sometimes there is a little bit more in there stating as soon as they are ready, we will use them or we taking into consideration to buy from them something like this. Okay, so that is on the one side. That's the letter of intent. Not even worth the piece of paper it's written on. Okay, so just for you to know. Um, on the other side. Uh, there is an order. That means I will say on the 1st of August, I will order, I don't know, 50 packs of um, 18 rolls of toilet paper on a monthly basis for delivered. I need to even explain uh, some specifications, you know, even with toilet paper, you can do that. Um, and uh, the quality 
and uh, then say, okay, and I'm willing to pay per pack, I don't know, 200 rand. Yeah, I'm just making up the numbers. Please don't uh, hold me to it. It's unrealistic numbers in, in any case. Yeah, so it states the order states the date when it needs to be delivered. It states on the monthly basis. It states the quantity. What did I say? Um, 10 or 20 packages okay, of 18 rolls. It states the quality. So it has some specs about it and it states the price. Yeah? So these are the five things that are usually in an order, uh, depending on the complexity of what people order from you, there is, uh, is more or less in there. Yeah? But you know, even if you think about, uh, um, there are lots of um, agricultural produce where there are some different gradings, you know, so with beef there are some different gradings, with meat there are some different gradings, with... Uh, with carrots, so all these things can go into an uh, order. Now, an offtake agreement is in the middle. It has most of the aspects of the order. The only thing is what is not in there is when you need to start to deliver. Because you as an entrepreneur are not able to confirm when you're really ready to deliver. And you usually, if you get these orders, there are sometimes even penalties included when you are not able to deliver. Keep in mind the client is relying on you that you can deliver. They also have clients uh, who, uh, who will order from them. And uh, so that's why um, in some cases there are, I'm not too sure if in all cases, but I would say in most cases, there are penalties included and of course you're losing your reputation if you don't uh, give out the uh, con um, be rely uh, reliable and deliver on time yeah so and the offtake agreement says as soon as they are ready okay we will order from them on a monthly basis um, 20 packages of 18 rolls of toilet paper with the quality of ABC, I don't know, uh, whatever you want to put in there, for a price of 200 rand per package. Yeah. So, so just for you to, to understand. So what is important for everybody to also know, these offtake agreements are not legally binding. Yeah. Uh, let me just see, there are a couple of comments here. Um, Clinton, can I get the video link? Keep in mind, all these webinars, they stay online, they're all on Facebook, yeah? What we do is, I know some people are not on uh, uh, Facebook, we have them also on our YouTube channel, um, so that's definitely something I can, maybe it's easier to find them there, yeah? I will share the link later, okay? Lanette here, good morning from Peter Maritzburg. Okay, Shamdor panel beating, good morning. Okay, thanks for the happy new year. Compliments of the seasons to you too. Okay, and Molefi is from the Free State, both are well. Okay, lovely, yeah. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to determine what is an offtake agreement. Yeah, so it's between a letter of intent and a confirmed order. So, and uh, the other part is now how do you secure offtake agreements? And that's challenging. I'm absolutely aware of that. But don't think you just can set up a manufacturing, you spend 5, 10, 50 million rand. Oh, Xolela, Happy New Year, Wadwani Foundation. <laughs> so nice to see you here too. Um, so, and that is not easy at all. I'm aware of that doesn't and like I said it's not it doesn't matter if it is before you start or if you you set up your factory you have your product you now go out and ask everybody do you want to buy don't think that is easier yeah that is definitely it's an illusion so because what happens is if some people say we don't want to give you an offtake agreement or they make it really difficult for you to uh, to to give you an offtake agreement because they say first we want to see the product, 
you know, and sometimes I'm thinking, where was it? I think I had a meeting with somebody for bottled water. They want to see the product first. I'm thinking, oh, what's, what details do you need about a bottled water, you know? So, um, the taste and uh, or how the bottle looks like or are you interested how the logo looks like you know so that is I would always ask don't just let them send you back and say okay I first need to see the product and then you need to ask them what do you expect to see you know and if somebody is giving you a hard time to to give you an offtake agreement South Africans have uh, problems to say no, you know, so that is something what I figured out here. So I personally can live with the no, you know, so somebody says, Dagmar, great, I love the service. Um, for us, sometimes it comes, uh, we don't have the cash or we, don't, we are not really ready at the moment. Let me know, I'm happy with this. And then we can, um, uh, we know exactly what, what to expect, yeah? But these dragging you out and, uh, and just uh, finding excuses why they can't give you an offtake agreement is annoying to me. But we need to live here, we are here in South Africa, that's what we need to, to handle. So, and that means at the end of the day, uh, that people are just not willing to give you an offtake agreement. And getting offtake agreements is not just you, you're knocking on two or three doors and everything is um, is fine. And everybody says, we were only waiting for you and um, th uh, we want this. Yeah. In some cases, is, it will happen. What you see here, what is important is that you have the expertise, the industry knowledge. Yeah. And maybe if you are known in your industry, it's even easier. Yeah. If you worked somewhere else as a salesperson or you worked somewhere else as an operations manager and all the clients may know you and say, yeah, the, the, this is a headache and we would like uh, to, to find somebody else to do that for us. That is so much easier, yeah? Um, so that's where then your expertise, your skills come in, your knowledge of the industry, also always something what financiers want from you in the first place, yeah? Don't think you need to know everything about your industry, no, you know, so you can't be the finance manager, the sales manager, and the operations manager in a 30, 40, 50 million or even high, bigger, investment uh, business that that's not possible here yeah? but portion of it you need to be have the expertise something what i always say there's no no sales no business that easy yeah so if you don't know how to uh, uh, sell you will have really challenges to um, to get things done yeah Okay, so let's Tembi from uh, Soweto. I've got you, Pumlani. Yes, <laughs> thanks very much. Um, I have here Neds, hi, and Sedens or Sidens? Franz. Franz, I know how to pr pronounce. Okay, good morning, hi. Okay, so now let's go back. We know exactly offtake agreement is between a letter of intent and an order. It is not easy to get uh, offtake agreements. It is easier if you have some experience, expertise, and industry knowledge and are well connected. Yeah. Uh, if somebody says, gives you a hard time and says, "I want a sample for bottled water," I think, sorry, I still can't believe that. <laughs> so um, then you need to make a plan. You need to ask them, "What do you want to see?" Yeah. So but maybe they have some specific ideas how the design needs to be and you can then say it's not a problem, we can do that specifically for you. You want, I don't know, uh, triangle bottles, you're getting triangle bottles, that is the price for it. Yeah. Um, let me think, what else can I think of? So sometimes for clients it's easier if they have a company profile. Uh, we also do um, service or product proposals, yeah? 
It looks similar like an investor pitch deck. Most people know what an investor pitch deck is. It has some pictures in there. We will explain in this proposal uh, who are the driving forces, what are their expertise, what equipment will you use, uh, what are the specs of your product, how do you sec uh, secure quality, um, and whatever is relevant to your product and industry and relevant for your potential clients. And then you make some appointments with them and then you just can go through this and say, okay, this is how the product will look like. This is how much uh, we will charge for it, depending on the units you are buying from, uh, uh, from, uh, from us per month. Yeah. And uh, that makes it, and I know it's nerve wracking. Don't think I'm not aware of that. I know, you know, out of a sudden you are carry your baby to, uh, to the market and now you're getting feedback. Listen to the feedback, yeah? Ask them, why is it not interesting for you? What are you expecting for, uh, from this uh, product? What is important for you? Make notes so that you can incorporate this. Sometimes, I also want to highlight this. They have some crazy requirements. Uh, the prices, what they offer you is under your production price. I've seen that before too. So then you just can say, okay, no, it's not going to happen, you know, so uh, we are not able to do that because you, of course, always need to make a profit. Yeah, that's what's business. That means you need to think about how you can increase your value um, and your value can be increased via reliability, service, you know, so maybe individual logos charge extra for it and um, so that is, and it's not just knocking on two or three doors, be aware you need to connect with lots of people to get enough offtake agreements together, yeah? And something also what we I wanted to highlight this, so we do the financial forecast for you. We assume you need to sell 100 units of 10,000 rand worth of a product per month. You need to have offtake agreements for minimum this 100 units. Yeah, so we need to make sure that you want to succeed the financiers want you to succeed because you're sitting together in one boat, yeah? So, and if you are failing, they are failing, yeah? So whatever they expect, is this sometimes ridiculous? Yes, I know, but what, what the financiers want? I'm not discussing, I've seen crazy things, I'm thinking, really? So, but um, usually they are on your side. They want you to succeed. They want to give you the money because there is money available. Yeah? And that means also you need to make sure that uh, they, no, sorry, they will try to prevent that you are failing. Eight out of ten of, uh, startups are failing. That's an international average. Yeah? For the first three years, and I think there are uh, only half of ten, only. Um, uh, Fifty percent. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Zero point five um, out of ten will even after three years, and there are only so many after ten years they are surviving. Funding connection is over ten years old now. So, and we always we grown all the time. We amended our services. We had a look what our clients are looking for, and of course also had. At the same time, and look what financiers want for and make sure that we amend our services, our products, what we are offering is according to what financiers want to see. And that's something what at any stage you also need to do, but that's then later on. Yeah. In the beginning, just that's what they want from you. Try to satisfy the financiers. To and whatever they want is usually, usually, not all the time, I know, usually um, what will make sure that you will succeed. Yeah? Okay, so let me just see. There is 
Franklin, my partner from West Africa has signed a year contract of 75,000 tons per month of sugar, Ecumza from Brazil. Seller is ready to issue a 2% of performance bond after receiving SBLC. Buyer is ready to issue a block fund after receiving copyright. Like, okay, so let me tell you, um, this is really individual. I would not go into it here now. It's not interesting for everybody. Just contact uh, our office um, and uh, we will then guide you uh, through the process. Um, I'm not too sure, yes, with Brazil and we, we just need to see um, if we are able to assist you. Um, we can do national and international uh, financiers, we have them available. We just need to double check if this is something uh, we can assist you with. Deeps, how long does NEFC find IDC take to come with funding reply? Okay, so um, we are submitting to all the government institutions, uh, definitely weekly, uh, to all the financiers we are working closely with on, a, I would say, yeah, once or twice a month there are so many out there you know so and um, it always depends on sometimes uh, NEFC find IDC were really quick um, and uh, that is in two or three days you got a reference number and then uh, at the moment I think CIFA says they need six weeks again for reference number I'm not too sure where NEF is standing at the moment and uh, so this is just to two to three months is realistic with government institutions. Yeah. And after you receive the reference number, you usually also know who's your manager, who is dealing with your application. So you are able to follow up. Mm, how does one get international customers? Johanna, okay, so um, getting international, first of all, you need to have a successful business and have South African customers, okay? Because uh, for international customers, it's a high risk. They don't know you, they don't know how everything is working here in South Africa or in any, any other um, country abroad for them. So um, I would start with first national customers and then later on you can uh, have a look at international customers. Um, DTIC offers an EMEA scheme and they offer attending exhibition, international exhibitions. That would be one thing. Um, I think online is the easiest way. Have a look who would be interested, who needs your services or your products. Go to LinkedIn and approach them. Yeah, um, maybe do both. It depends on you know what industry you are in, Johanna, to to think about the best strategy. But these would be my my two tips at the moment. Um, what I would be able to give you. Yeah. Um, okay, I think deep pleasure. Okay, so I think um, we covered everything okay it's not easy it is challenging you go out there you are of course also scared people say we don't need you but let's be honest this is the feedback you want you know so you want to go out there and say here yeah, this is what i'm offering this is the price i'm selling it for is this interesting and then you maybe get the feedback and say i'm getting a similar product for half the price then you ask them okay which product is this and then you just can go home and say, okay, what is different? You know, maybe your pro your product or service is superior and that's why it is double the price. Yeah. So, and uh, then you can go back and say, okay, so yes, I had a look at it. Thanks very much for, uh, for the hint. But what they are doing is the lowest quality you can get. And, and we are definitely up here. There's also somebody who's more expensive and their price is up here. You see, that's why you need also your competitors. It is everything is linked. Yeah. So I'm sure you saw me doing this before. Everything in a business plan and in a business is linked. Usually what we know, we have an idea. These are our customers. These are our prices. 
these are our cost prices and now with the business plan what we do we put everything together and see does it fit or doesn't it fit you know because your cost price is higher than your selling price yeah okay so I think that uh, that's it um, yes if you have two things if you need any um, individual advice please do me a favor you can use uh, Facebook please use the funding connection page Facebook and uh, connect with us uh, through there um, Brent will be able to assist you let me just see um, where can I I'm trying here to okay I will do that okay so or you can go to our website I'm not too sure how to do that here let me just see is there anything moderation comment mm, yeah no I can't somehow comment there out of a sudden anymore I will do that after uh, I finished here this uh, webinar I will send you also the link to our website where you can contact us there too uh, Brent is able to assist you yeah okay lovely take good care talk to you soon see you latest uh, next week uh, Monday again okay bye bye